Helene here in Las Vegas. Always great to be joined by the one and only Mr. Johnny Walker. First off, congratulations. Incredible performance of the night and getting that bonus uh, this past weekend, UFC 279. Thank you very much. It's good to be back. Yeah, and there's always so much happening. And I know a lot of the fans uh, were kind of worried about you when they saw John Cavanaugh, your coach, post that video of you guys walking along the streets with your fight kit on. Yeah, I didn't have the time to dress me up. Like, it was so quick to happen, you know. I was very hyped after the, the, the win, and then I went to check with the doctor. My hurt, I hurt my foot a little bit. And then I started doing the interviews, take picture. Then when I saw the big tent outside with all of the media, I went there, did a couple interviews. And then I was with a UFC girl. I was following her, and she was putting me on the right spot to do the interview stuff. And then I said, I'll set there. I said, okay, can I come back to the arena? I, I want to meet my, my fiance. She's there watching it now. Oh, why? And she trying to talk to somebody, seeing what's going on. But she said, I need a ticket to come back to the arena because I don't think I have space to, to stay in any seat or something. like." But I, okay, but I just want to be inside. Oh, it's cold here. <laughs> no, it's hot. But they just kicked me, me out for the, for the hotel, New York, New York. And that you see on the video was with my coach and everybody back then. Also, Chris, Chris, he was uh, supposed to be in the hospital zone. He was asking for somebody giving him a lift. <laughs> he was in the street like me. He said, I don't feel safe here. Somebody can give me a lift. You can see on his Instagram as well. I don't know, I don't really know what really happened. I don't know why, but they just kick us out. But it's okay. It was, I was winning, get the, the bonus, and I was happy anyway. Yeah, well, did they ever call you after or say anything, or you haven't heard from them since? Not really. But your foot, you said you kind of hurt your foot, and then you're walking after, right, back to the hotel you walk back? Yeah, but it's okay. We are tough, man. I don't really care. I was so happy with the later with my win and with the bonus. Then I don't give a fuck anymore. Let's go to the hotel and celebrate. And I watch the last fights on the on the cell phone. Yeah, well, most importantly, everything worked out. You got to watch the last fights and get that bonus because I know December you're getting married to your beautiful fiance. Yeah, December is gonna be a big day for us. The bonus is gonna help us loads get married in Ireland is, is <laughs> expensive <laughs> and yeah I'm really happy and moving forward now I'm excited to come back and keep training I already trained this week and I, I hope I can get on UFC Rio in the card in Rio and keep moving forward and climb to the rank and get my goal it's my dream it's my goal no and, and I have a plan everything set up just just keep working hard and the results are gonna come yeah, and I know in the pre-fight interviews you were talking about some of the changes you made leading up to that fight and also like with the CBD and not using that or whatnot. So moving forward, do you feel that you found, you know, a new uh, plan and just a new system moving forward? Yeah, 100%. Everything's experience, you know, and you learn from your mistakes. Like, of course, no CBD anymore. At least no, 100% no THC, right? <laughs> CBD, maybe I can use some tops or whatever, but nothing on my tongue, nothing like a top anymore, you know. And of course, I find a really good coach to work with, like besides John Kavanaugh, you know, a good striking boxing coach, uh, Peck Collins, and I work a little bit with uh, Owen Rod as well, MMA striking, you know, I have a good strength conditioning in Ireland, so everything's set up. I, I take a little bit of time to learn and to know who is the best that I have to work to fit on them system, so now I learn. And now I'm very consistent on training, you know, I'm very committed, so now it's going to work out. And I know when you mentioned that you've been training this week as well, I saw you run into Francis Ngannou, the heavyweight champ at the PI, right? Yeah, I met him there. I, we talked a little bit. I asked him if he, when he come back, and he said he don't, he's not sure yet. But I said, take your time, you're still the champ, but don't come back when you, just come back when you're 100%, you know, no rush. And he said, yeah, I didn't think about this. And I asked him if you really want to fight at Tyson Fury. And he said, I don't know, I have to negotiate this with UFC. So hopefully I want to watch that fight. I see that fight, so it's going to be really fun. Yeah, well, do you think when he does come back that he'll be fighting John Jones, someone that you and I have spoken about in the past? Yeah, 100%. John Jones is one of the best on the division, you know. And it's going to be a good fight for him. Hopefully one day, is it still the dream fight him or fight on one of the best in the world? 
but I think it's going to be a fun fight if France fights uh, John Jones. Well, you told me not too long ago in the future one of your goals is to move into the heavyweight division. Is that still something that you have your mind set on? 100%, maybe in three, three, four years. On the end of my, I want to end my career on heavyweight, you know, when I get a little bit old and my metabolism get low and get harder to cut my weight, then 100%, I don't want to suffer anymore. It's, it's a little bit soft right now, but uh, I can do it, it's too young. But when you get old, the metabolism gets slow, it's getting harder, so I don't want to fight against the age, you know. But you still have a long, great career ahead of you. And lastly, a big fight coming up in the next pay-per-view, Charles Oliveira versus Islam. How do you see that fight playing out? The way that Charles has been coming for all of his past fights, I think Charles is, is on his prime now, and it's going to be really hard to stop him. He's getting better. Every fight is getting better, better strike and better. Jiu-Jitsu is, is already good, you know, but with more experience, he's getting way more better, you know. And I don't think uh, Islam can can stop him. And probably Khabib will maybe want to come back to fight Charles when Charles beat uh, Islam. I don't know. It's going to be a really good fight tonight. And for all your fans who can't wait to watch for your return back in the octagon, what would you like to let them know? What's up, my friends? I just finished the fight, but I can't wait to come back, put the show on for you guys.